Despite billions of ransom payments received by bandits in the north, they remain poor, Sheikh Hosani. Now to the news in full. The former senator who represented the good people of Kaduna Central Senatorial District, Senator Sheikh Hosani, has reacted to the ongoing banditry activities in northern part of the country, claiming that most of these bandits are still wretched and poor, despite collecting billions of naira from their victims. Speaking further, Sheh Hosani made it known that whenever security operatives arrest this kidnapper, they often look dirty, noting that it shows that they are working for some bigger invisible and invisible forces. Of course, everybody already knows that by now that these Boko Haram, these bandits, they are working for some powerful people. They are working for them because how come they have not been caught since? Because these people, these DSS, these are security officials. If they want to catch somebody, if they are really ready to catch these people, they would. But all this was, they have not been able to catch them. It is because they have the backing of some powerful people. Senator Shah Hussani made this disclosure in a post he made on his ex-official handle on Sunday morning while attacking these criminals. Senator Shah Hussani wrote, despite the billions of ransom payments received by bandits in the north, they remain wretched and poor. Whenever they get arrested, they look famished and dirty. This gives credence to the conjecture that they are front for some bigger invisible, invisible and invisible forces. Yes, they are working for politicians, for powerful people. That is what they are working for. Because these people, their lives are not changing. Every day they keep collecting, um, um, what is it called, ransom. And they are not using it for themselves. What are, okay, what are they using the money for? If not that some other people are collecting that money from them. It is obvious, it is very obvious that they are working for bigger people that we don't know about. Austin Udo says, we are all taken with tears and sorrow, has never prospered anyone. Instead, it diminishes and values and devalues one. Ogon Michael says, they share it with those that send them, then the remaining some take to victims' family to inform them of more people to rob them, their associates get the rest. Of course. Shai Anthony says, you are the real activist by blood without doubt. I am always proud of you. I'm a leader. Kami says, no peace for the wicked. The only solution is Biafra independence. Because we all know that these people, they definitely have backings of some people. Because if it is to go to somebody's house now to track your phone number, to come and arrest you in your house, they are very, very fast without. They have, they have IT guys that can help them track people if they want to. And these so-called Boko Harams, they go on TikTok. They put their faces online. They do everything online. You see them, but still at the end of the day, you have not been able to arrest them. What does that tell you? It tells you that these people are working for higher people. Akbar Dedem says, that is a very correct and accurate assessment of the whole thing. The cost money they receive from their victims can't take them anyway. That is what that is what they don't know that at the end of the day, all this money that you are gathering, making people suffer, making people, families cry, you call ransom, you still kill them, you 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 torture them, you make them suffer. At the end of the day, all this money will take you nowhere. You are not going to take it to heaven where you die. That is even if you get to heaven's gates, because hellfire is sure for all of you. Making people cry, killing people, kidnapping them, just to make yourself richer. Money that you will not take anywhere. Money that you cannot finish spending. You buy houses, you buy cars, you buy them in surplus. You can only drive one at a time. You can only live in one bedroom at a time. So what are we burning after? Wealth, wealth that will diminish. Everything will come to an end one day and you'll be buried underground. And people will just lavish this so-called money that you, you, you've killed people to make. Anyhow, Ghani Adeyemi says, you are too factual for most of Northerners to behold. Kola Isaac says, nobody gets rich with negative money. It will always ruin them into more poverty. Elisha Olasami says, they will remain poor because they are cost set of people. Exactly. The money will not show in their body now because what do they know? They are stuck in the They will just tell them, oh yeah, kill these people. I'll give you, if you collect this ransom, I'll give you a small amount of money because they don't know the value of money. They don't, most of these people they use for this kidnapping and stuff, they are just stuck in the cheats. 
They don't, they don't understand anything. All they hear is go, gashi, come, zo, zomana. All, that is all they know. And they are, they are using you to kill innocent citizens. Using you to, 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 to enrich their own pockets, yet your lives are, has not changed for the better. It is well. Okafo said, they work for their rich brothers, the same people who looted Nigeria mindlessly. Uh -huh. Glory K says, they remain poor forever because they value cow, cow more than human, and they are religious fanatic people, very, very religious fanatic people. Chine Dukeoji says, how did you think that such evil money can build a better human? Or society, didn't you know that there is a reward that accompany every good and evil? If not at that particular moment, it be on the near or far future, often known as positive or negative karma. By engaging themselves on the positive way of livelihood or negative way, they are free to stop or continue also ready to reap the rewards and the consequences. Our prayer is just that we will not be victim of these kidnappers or anything. That is the main prayer that we should be praying that God, don't let me or my family be a victim of these kidnappers or, or these future killers because at the end of the day, they can actually repent. And you know that God is going to forgive them of all their sins. Like, he, he won't count their past against them. So it is left to us for us to be safe by ourselves, protect ourselves. I know it is hard, but pray for God's security. Pray that God should keep you and keep your family that we will not be victims of, of kidnappers, of ritual killers, because what these people, they can do a lot of atrocities, kill a lot of people, and one day, they'll just give their lives to Christ, and their past is gone and forgotten. So that is, that should be our prayer. Don't let us be victims of, acts of kidnappers, of ritualists. Ankara says, he tells about the type of people in not not only terrorists, despite the North ruling Nigeria the most, challenging huge money to the North, more LGs, more states, more senators, heading NNPC, MPA, military over the years, the North remains the most backward. How would the North have been if they were marginalized like the Southeast? Solomon Ejiro says, and they will remain forever poor, while the spirit of the people they have killed be will continue to haunt them forever. Masade says the ransom payment is not for them. They are just laborers working for their paymasters, including some of them in National Assembly, presidents, and some religious leaders in the North. Exactly. So they are, they are working for the rich people. The rich are only enriching themselves. But why do you have to make the citizens cry? Why do you have to kill people? Why do you have to kidnap people? You steal public money. That one is not enough for you. You are still greedy to the extent that you kill people. Karma is waiting for you. I hope that you people do not repent so that you will reap the fruit of your labor, so that you will suffer in the lake of fire and all your families combined. My listeners, over to you, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.